Boss, that's the last of them. Good. Finally. Thanks for all the help, everyone. I ain't going down without a fight. I'm taking you with me, punk. I will not allow it. Yeah, I've never met this character before. Frick, you're here. Well, shall we capture this fool? They were talking about Alfred like he was a character I should know, and I do not know who that is. that you have come to our aid. I am relieved that I wasn't too late. I do hope my presence proved useful. No doubt about it. We needed the backup. Uh, so you're Alfred. Professor, I do believe this is the first time our paths have crossed, is it not? Of course, I have heard all about you from Her Grace, the Archbishop. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Alfred. The church has granted me custodianship of Abyss. Well, you're doing kind of a shitty job. The place sucks. <laughs> uh... You look after Abyss? Indeed. And despite my responsibilities, I am but a humble monk. I am sure you have already been told about Abyss's unique situation. For varying reasons, all of the inhabitants here are unable to live a peaceful life on the surface. People like the Dagdens and Almyrans who suffer undue persecution across Fodlin, the poor and the sick, who are forced into Abyss, not to mention all the other unfortunate souls who ended up here. I believe it is my sacred duty to provide a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Right. And the poor and sick living in a sunless crypt helps them... how? Enough, Claude. Please, forgive my friend. No, not enough. Let's, let's carry on with that. More. In all honesty, I understand his concern. I dearly wish I could provide a better life for my flock. But it would appear that Her Grace and most of the Church consider the existence of Abyss to be something of a nuisance. So Rhea don't even want to help. Bitch. That can't be true. No. I've heard tell of those within the Church who intend to purge Abyss. That's the Church for you. They make a big deal out of helping the helpless, when it suits them. We can't just sit back and accept the way things are. We've got to fight the system. Sure, I'm here to hide from literally countless bounty hunters, but I'm not the only one in need. You're in a bad way too, Happy. We can't just let the church walk all over us. Too true. For the sake of all who dwell in Abyss, we must help dear Elfric to turn the tide. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Your fervent support is all the reward I could ask for. As for you, Professor, I must beg a favor of you. Hmm, what's the favor? The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Naturally, your official duties take precedence, so you need only help out when your schedule allows. Wait a minute, Alfric. Where's this nonsense coming from? I second that question. We have no need of a professor when we have you. Dear flock, I am a mere guardian. I can protect you, but I cannot enrich your minds. Though I call this gathering an academy. That's Sam Regal. I have long lamented that it isn't truly so. Now I am blessed with the opportunity to correct this. The professor who stands before you has garnered a great deal of acclaim on the surface. A most trustworthy and esteemed teacher, to say the least. What's more, I happen to be acquainted with the father of this fine individual. Well, how do you know my father? I was born and raised in Garrick Mock, so I often had the opportunity to spend time with him. Uh, your mother as well. She was a cherished friend of mine. I was even present for their wedding. With parents like yours, I have no doubt that you possess the kindness and patience necessary to guide these students. But... Uh... It'll be fine. It's not like we're strangers anymore. Say, Alfric, don't you need to take care of those thieves? Ah, right you are. Please, excuse me. Oh, and 
One more thing, Professor. If ever you would like to hear more about your parents, I would be delighted to share my memories with you. Oh, you mean that guy who never says anything about himself and the other one who died when I was born? Yeah, I'd like to know about those too. <laughs> Cindered shadows. Can I say die right before I was born? No, died in birth. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Her mother died in labor or whatever. Ah, professor, to what do I owe this pleasure? <laughs> My mother died before I was born. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me to explain. No, professor, it was. Like an alien. Yeah. I want to hear more about my parents, obviously. Duh. Yes, of course you do. I will gladly tell you all that I know. Where to begin? If you have something particular in mind, please ask and I shall answer as best I can. <laughs> tell me about my father. Well, he drank a lot. <laughs> tell me about my mother. Kind and wise. I would often she see her in the library. So her nose always buried in a book. <laughs> Can I see my mother? No. What was Gerald my father like back then? Very much then as he is now. His nights would have done just about anything for him. Whenever he had time to spare, he would instruct the children of the monastery in combat and tactics. Just like those wide-eyed youngsters, your mother and I made a hero of him in our minds. When I learned that Gerald and Citri were to be married, I was quite surprised. Back then, Gerald was something of a mentor to me. As for Citri, she found it difficult to express her emotions. It was only when she was gazing at Gerald that I ever saw her smile. A smile that rivaled the very sun. His tales of the outside world must have seemed like a lifeline for one as frail and guarded as she. Hmm, the outside world? Frail? Indeed, she lacked the strength to travel beyond the monastery. The only souls she ever spoke with were a select few within the monastery walls. I can picture it now. The stories he told her, his striking words, and his boisterous laugh. Listening to him must have given her a great deal of hope. As for me, I could never have become like Gerald. As much as I wished for it. You wanted to be like him? You wanted to be an alcoholic? I suppose I did. He would tell stories from a century ago as though he had lived them himself. No matter how fervently one studies the stories of old, that is no easy task. Professor, you traveled with Gerald before coming here. You must have seen a great many things, yes? Forgive me for overstepping, but do you not regret foregoing your travels to take up residence here? Hmm. I enjoy my work here. <laughs> Dorothea's cute. Well then, I suppose I have no choice but to assist you as best I can. Uh, yeah, I am. To shape young minds must afford you a unique perspective on the world. I am certain my unsolicited advice is nothing but a nuisance. But please, hear me out. It is my hope that you will live a full life, experiencing the world fostering strong relationships with people. Do so for dear Citri, whose wish to experience such things shall regretfully never be granted. Hmm. That's why you asked me to teach the Ashen Wolves? I cannot deny it. It is my own stubborn notion, one that her grace will likely not think kindly of. Beyond my personal motive, I believe that you alone can guide my flock to even greater heights. And perhaps you will learn from them as well. Ah, but I have taken enough of your precious time. Know that I am here for you. Always. Hmm. Pray tell, Yuri. Did those foul bandits whom we bested at the arena confess to anything? Not a word. And I wouldn't name names. I got the feeling they didn't know much themselves. However, one thing is clear. 
Whoever hired them is after something here in Abyss. Yeah, that's gotta be it. They must have been on a treasure hunt or something. A treasure hunt here? I don't get it. What is there to find in these dingy tunnels? Belfit, was it? Looks like this is ringing a bell for you. Well, something does come to mind. But the notion is preposterous at best. Never discount a wild hunch. Sometimes they're closer to the truth than you'd think. Any lead will do, so long as it helps determine our next course of action. Please, go on. As you wish. Though, again, it is quite far-fetched. You see, there is a long-standing legend here. It is said that deep underground, below even Abyss, is a place called the Chasm of the Bound, wherein lies the Chalice of Beginnings. Hmm... Chalice of Beginnings? I've never heard of it, but chances are it's some kind of sacred artifact belonging to the Church. I once happened upon an old document that mentioned a ritual called the Rite of Rising. The text was incomplete, so I was unable to achieve a full understanding of the topic. I cannot even guarantee the authenticity of what I read. But it's stated that the Chalice of Beginnings is a sacred object, crafted by order of Saint Seros herself. Saint Seros apparently used the artifact to carry out the Rite of Rising, along with the Four Apostles. Hmm. Uh, who are the Four Apostles? I vaguely recall reading about the Four Apostles. They were saints, and that's about all anyone knows. Hardly any records of them remain. Few alive even know their names, but these Apostles supposedly assisted the Four Saints with their holy work. It is also believed that Saint Seros attempted to perform a resurrection using the Chalice. However, the ritual failed. The Four Apostles bound the Chalice so that it would never fall into a mortal's hands. The Rite of Rising, huh? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes! The Chalice of Legend! My father mentioned it to me a very long time ago. A secret treasure of the Church. A chalice, powerful enough to resurrect the dead! Exhilarating, no? Quite. It is no small wonder that people are after it. Even so, we still don't have much to go on. We must gather more information about this legend at once. I wholeheartedly agree. I will do all I can to track down more clues within the monastery. Although Garrick Mach's library is so well curated, I doubt any further records will be found. Wondrous! We shall do all that we can as well! Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it there for now. Uh, but this is fun. So far it's just been battles, but they've been challenging, I guess, so that's cool. Excuse me. Um hey. I think there's a lot of the main game that's Missing out of this though, I think. I don't know if you can support with anyone or. Except maybe them? I don't know. I definitely would have got a support by now if I was able to. So maybe you can only support with them when you transfer them to your main game. I don't know. But, oh, look at all those. Lovely text boxes. Save that for later. Yep. Thanks for dropping by and watching. I appreciate it. Um, finished uh, Aelgard's route quite a while ago. It's still getting uploaded to YouTube. I think I'm gonna upload these though separately since they're kind of unrelated. So. These will actually be way in the future and going up earlier even than the end of the Aelgard route, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm not sure how frequently I'm going to be streaming, but I am in a better place now to actually stream regularly, so that's cool. And Adia is here! 
Yeah, and Jude's Jude's also here, but he's asleep. Yeah, he he's asleep supervising. Well, anyway, you guys have a good night. I will see you hopefully soon. Okay, mm, bye bye guys.